pack the place on a working weekday. Liam Brady was making his debut, and Don Givens, who was winning his 25th cap, was about to celebrate in style. Oleg Blokin, the shooting star of the Soviet side, five in five Olympic Games in 1972, he scored six goals. This is Liam Brady, his first touch in senior international football. Mulligan. Nine is Kolotov. Liam Brady. Showing his composure so early in the game to Giles. Beautiful ball by Giles to Highway. Highway's run. The defence in a panic in a corner for Ireland. <laughs> Mancini. Brady. Now a club made of Mancini's at the Arsenal. Highway. Holmes. Well, the Soviet Union haven't got the ball. There's little they can do. And Ireland refused to give it to them. Giles for Givens his head. And Olshensky knocks it away as well. Kinnear did well. Mulligan. Mancini. Giles. Kinnear. Givens is coming in. Oh, it's a beautiful goal, isn't it? A beautiful goal. Twenty-five caps today for Don Givens. An absolutely magnificent ball by Giles that set it up. Matt Bianco. And now the Soviet Union know they've got the crowd to play as well. Ten is Giles. Mulligan. Brady. Likes to caress it with that left leg of his. Paddy Mulligan had a chance. And the Soviet Union really in a spot of honor now. They, all the composure seems to have gone into tatters. And this will perhaps be a long one from Steve Highway. Tracy, helped in by Don Gibbons. Don Gibbons. What a super performance for Ireland and Gibbons. And something really to remember at Dillymont. It's no more than Ireland have deserved. Two to nil after half an hour. Mancini and Kaplichny having fun. And Kaplichny has hit Mancini. Well, this does no good to the international scene. But the position is that Kaplichny and Mancini were jostling one another. Kaplichny hit Mancini and then Mancini retaliated.
It's been a long time, if ever, since we've seen the Soviet Union rattled. And it's a red card for Terry Mancini. So Mancini been sent off. Yes, he goes as well. It's a red card for Kiplichny. Kinnear has made a run to the outside right spot. But uh, Giles will cool it very near half time. Good free it is too. Tracy's head just outside. Fine effort, Ray Tracy. Brady. The simple thing. And does it well. Martin. Brady. That educated left leg of his. Oh, good shot, Brady. Into the very goal where Giles scored in his debut 15 years ago. Paul, as you can see, has been given. Brady. Giles. Highway. Another free kick. Now, Giles has got Givens and Tracy to aim at. 11 and 8. Brady's on the edge of the box. Givens head. has scored again the hat-trick what a day for he what a day for the Ireland side and what a tribute to the man who's masterminded it all Johnny Giles John Gibbons and the crowd rise to him Arguably our greatest ever performance at international level. Holmes to Givens. Brady. Mulligan. Brady. Tracy. Giles. Oh, brilliant shot. And what a save, Phil Gooey. Really is football to warm the heart. They all played with skill. We've had fine Ireland teams in the past with a fine mixture of skill and spirit, but I don't think there's been one with a greater marriage than this. The game is now an injury time. It's now over. It's all over at Dillyman Park. And there have been so many of them. How about Don Givens? Three goal givens, they'll never forget him in his 25th international. Wonderful day for Irish football. And perhaps that's the incentive the crowds, the dormant crowds needed to come back to the game. A banner behind the goal at the school end proclaims Giles Giant Killers. Oh, it's actually a very, very special day, Owen, as it marks the 40th anniversary of one of Ireland's greatest ever sporting victories, our uh, 1974 3-0 destruction of Cold War kingpins, the USSR. Now, we're going to relive the story of the game now, with a little help from Jimmy McGee, even then a veteran of the RT Sports team, and his show, Action 74, from Dailyman Park. Take it away, Jimmy. Action 74 tonight concentrates on soccer the European Championship game between the Republic of Ireland and the Soviet Union. Official capacity, 30,000, looks more like 130,000. Spearheading the Irish attack that day was Don Givens. Captain and manager is Johnny Giles. In midfield, supremely haired debutante, Liam Brady, and evening up the hair average, Terry Mancini. <laughs> but the overexcited Irish crowd were the real stars that day. Check out the dozen or so lads clinging to the pylon just a few minutes in, and there's 20 more lads on the players' ad there. Personal safety, not a very high priority, obviously. After 22 minutes, we strike first against the godless Soviet horde as Joe Kinnear lofts the ball towards the penalty area and the onrushing forehead of Don Givens. 
you delirium at a moment so powerful it seems to raise a stricken gentleman to his feet in the wheelchair section, like <laughs> Eddie Murphy's character in Trading Places. Eight minutes later, and the crowd have now decided to make themselves comfortable on the actual pitch. I mean, that's fine, it's only a Euro qualifier. Ireland attack once more with the long throw, and the scourge of Brezhnev's boys is at it again. Don Given strikes for number two. With the shock of the goal, he develops instant rigor mortis of the arms, unable to lower them from the one position, such as the magnitude of the achievement. Thankfully, it does eventually wear off, not for a while though, as we can see. But back to the crowd, and uh, by now, word has started to spread around Dublin that Ireland are on the verge of doing something very special. And fans continue to arrive at Daily Mount. Keep an eye on the roof of the Shed End stand at nil-nil. It looks like this. Yeah. And at two-nil, it uh, looks like this. <laughs> so, uh, Jimmy's relaxed about this whole second tier of Daredevil supporters. I'm safe, but uh, the view is good. Uh, it sure is, it sure is. It's PC gone mad, if you ask me, Jimmy. Uh, as Ireland press for a third lead on, the crowd are now strolling around the stand and nobody seems to care. Giles lost another ball towards the head of Givens, and the hat-trick is complete, as is his trio of super cool celebrations. Uh, lads on the roof are happy out, but when the final whistle blows, those same fans want a piece of their heroes. Uh, Don Givens, however, has other ideas. Watch as he saves his fastest spirit of the match to evade those annoying fans. Unfortunately, Debbie Hunt, Liam Brady still has a lot to learn and nearly gets his head rubbed off. And so the day ends with the Irish supporters occupying the field of victory. Miraculously, there were no deaths at Daily Mount that day, although as the final credits rolled, this flamboyantly dressed, attention-seeking supporter came close. <laughs> Pitching backwards onto the ground, flares akimbo to round off a truly great day for the Irish. So happy anniversary and a big round of applause, please, for all of our fans that day and all of Ireland's 1974 heroes. Everyone, please.